So let's say you have the first law and some system. Let's say you have this system is, you tell me, you want an exo or endothermic? Exo. Exothermic. Do you want the system to do work or work to be done on the system? Done on the system. Okay. The system does work. And we'll just pick random numbers. Uh, one and two joules to go with each of them. Okay, you can make up problems all by yourself if you wanted to. Exothermic, so this has to do with Q. Work has to do with W. Exothermic is Q going to be positive or negative? Negative. Yeah, it's leaving. Q is going to leave, and that's going to be a negative number. How about work? If the system oh, does work, it's also negative. So it's also leaving. The system is doing work on something else. Anything that leaves the system is considered a negative, just terminology. So delta U is minus Q, which is minus 1, plus W, which is minus 2. Total of minus 3 joules. If you want to draw a diagram for it, you go delta U. And you go kind of two lines. Uh, U initial and U final. I'm putting U final on the bottom because it's dropping in energy. Or I guess it's not, I guess you could just call it U. This is dropping in energy a total of negative three joules. Well, how does that happen, you might wonder. Just extend that. Well, there's two drops, really. One was Q. Here's Q. And that <coughs> dropped minus one joule. And then there was a second drop of W, and that dropped minus two joules. Any questions?